restoration. Hey, welcome back everybody. I hope you had a great week. It's uh, been a long one, let's be honest. We started out a little bit cloudy and then we wrapped up the week with sunshine and then a nice gradual clearing. Also the temperatures dropping, which feels fabulous, but it is bringing this problem. A little bit of fog Thursday morning we saw it. We're seeing it again now Friday morning. So let's zoom in and check it out. Let's check out the details. Southeastern Ohio really seeing it right now. So parts of St. Clairsville, as you look in the background of Fort Henry Bridge, you can really start to see some of that fog off in the distance there. It doesn't look as bad, though, as you head into the panhandle of West Virginia. So as we slide easterly here along I-70 and head closer to the highlands, this is looking uh, westbound, so down the hill here on the highlands. We can see a little bit of mist there on the, the lamppost, but other than that, it doesn't look too bad. So maybe just a light mist out there for parts of the higher trains. Well, as we get closer to 9, 10 o'clock, it'll really ta target the, the ridges. If you're heading over the mountains, uh, the mountains of Ogilvy, so just that little hill, you might run into some of that fog as well. Take it easy out there. Upper 40s, low 50s for most of us. You're going to need a jacket up until about 8, 9 o'clock, and then the sunshine's really starting to warm us up. And then we climb all the way to the upper 70s. Some places actually hitting the 80 degree mark today. And there's some cloud coverage out there for right now, but it's going to be gone by the time we head into 9, 10 o'clock. So make sure you have those sunglasses. You're going to be needing them throughout the day. We're looking off to the northwest. This cold front is going to be our next system to push down, but it's not going to provide any uh, rainfall. It's actually going to dry out by the time it makes it to us. This atmosphere is really tapped out in moisture, so that's why we're sitting in that extreme and exceptional categories for drought. Anytime any rainfall even tries to push through, our atmosphere just dries it out because it's so dry. There's the cloud coverage. It's gone after lunchtime, so you're going to need the sunglasses then. And then we'll start to notice our wind speeds increasing as we close out your Friday. Wouldn't have a, a bonfire tonight. It is going to get windy out there. We're going to see this cold front push down, and there's that wind between 10 and 11 o'clock. So if you're out at the football game, depends on how late you're out there, you're going to start to see some of this breeze picking up. So I wouldn't recommend kicking anytime after 10 o'clock. If it comes down to the final field goal, it's going to be questionable. Cloud coverage does return just briefly as that passing front rolls through on Saturday morning. It's going to set up to be more of a fall type of morning. You'll see a few of those alto stratus clouds in the morning, and then it clears out through the rest of your Saturday. So if you're over at Ogilvy, looks like beautiful conditions. It's going to feel more like fall. We're not really going to see a whole lot of rainfall through the weekend, but we'll talk about that in just a second. There is some rainfall on Sunday night. For Saturday, we're on the road for WVU, so we're really not going to head over to Morgantown to check that game out. Mostly sunny skies, though, and low humidity with that passing front. On Sunday, when the day with storms arriving from the northwest, they're going to start to die down as they get to us. It's so questionable how much rainfall they'll bring, but it'll be Sunday night into Monday, early night hours. You're, you're going to wake up to the roads being wet, but everything clearing out on your Monday. Temperatures are starting to drop in the morning, if you couldn't tell. And moving forward, our first freeze dates are actually right around the corner. October 10th through the 20th, on average, is typically when we see temperatures falling below 36 degrees, and that's going to be our first frost of the season. After that, temperatures, we're looking for them to fall below 32 degrees for our freeze warnings. If they fall below 28 degrees, that's a hard freeze, or if it's stuck below that 32 degree mark for more than 24 hours. There's a look at your low temperature outlook. We're not going to climb to the 30s anytime soon, but by the end of next week, we're hanging out in the low 40s, and it is starting to feel cold. There's a look at your 70 forecast. Come on out to Ogilvy. I would recommend Friday or Saturday. We're going to close out the day with a little bit of storm action, but the rest of the week looks fabulous. It feels more like fall by the end of next week. Here is your interview.